After four years of waiting, Bitcoin is doing its thing. Congratulations to the patient people. Four years is a long time, but now everything is in place for Bitcoin to do its thing post the halving. The structure that you have here on the chart, I've drawn it, I think in my previous videos a while back, but it seems to be following it perfectly. So in the end of October, 2024, maybe some people will call this the Halloween rally or something. I don't know, but Bitcoin is breaking out and the breaking out will bring all the attention to Bitcoin. The Bitcoin dominance is through the roof right now. So if you have altcoins, wait because it's not altcoin season at all. Everything is focused on Bitcoin besides a few altcoins, but all the eyes are on Bitcoin. The crazy thing, however, is that we barely see it in the news that we are doing this type of movement in crypto, especially in Bitcoin, before the explosive move in altcoins that will eventually follow in a couple of months. So here the structure of Bitcoin is quite simple, but extremely powerful. So we were in this flag pattern, as you see, peak, lower peak, lower peak, lower peak, lower peak, and then we were stopping on this trend line approximately. So this is the downturn with the dead cross, everything's bearish, but once the price breaks, if we have a retest, that's what we had here, we went high, then we went back, we didn't touch this trend line, but we went back and then bounced back. This is confirmation that all the structure right now becomes support. And this is a key support. And what happens very near that time, a golden cross here on the 27th of October, that, that was last Sunday. And today we're breaking out. So we are moving away from the structure and potentially we will follow this trend line. This is a tentative trend line. We don't know how quickly, how is it going to be respected, but you will see in the weekly chart that we're going a lot higher, but nobody knows exactly where, when and where we are stopping. So this is the beginning of the banana zone for Bitcoin. The exponential phase is here. Now you just have to ride a wave. That's pretty much it. So this is what I shared in my previous videos. Big consolidation period here for the bear market. When nobody wants Bitcoin, that's the best time to accumulate it. After that, we have the initial rally. Then we have the, uh, the vertical line here is the halving. In this case, we didn't stay flat. We just corrected a little bit, but that's another phase of accumulation right here. And now we're breaking above that structure. The target could be this box here. It's just a guess. I have absolutely no idea. Nobody has an idea how high we can go. We can go to 100K and stop there or we could go to 500,000 or a million. Nobody knows. If somebody tells you where we are going, they're lying. You can't. So what you can do as an investor is just to have your bags ready in this region and then let Bitcoin fly. That's pretty much it. After that, the next job as an investor is trying to detect the toppy region. Where are we going to stop, consolidate, and break down for the next in the initiation of the next bear market? That's your next step right now. On the way up, you can be very conservative by taking profits frequently. So let's say profits at 100,000, profits at 120,000, profits at 140,000. Every 20,000, you take a little bit. Or you say, I'm going to follow the trend. When it turns, then I start taking profits. It's up to you to decide what you want to do. 
at this stage for me, Bitcoin is extremely precious. I don't even know if I'm going to actually sell some coins. I have proxies in my portfolio that probably are the ones that are going to be that get chopped. And that's how I'll take profits related to Bitcoin. Maybe also take profits from MicroStrategy, for example. But actual Bitcoin, I think what my plan will be is probably sell altcoins post the altcoin season and then grab as much Bitcoin in the next region where we have consolidation in a bear market type of situation. But this will be a lot higher than we are right now. And it's going to take a lot more money to grab the same amount of Bitcoin as it is even right now. So DCA, accumulate as much as you want, invest, accumulate as much as you can sometimes, but invest, 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 invest is the key from getting out of trouble because there's going to be printing going on. Inflation is gonna come here. Everybody who has assets will do very, very well, but those who keep cash will do very, very poorly. So move away from cash as much as you can. Cover your basic needs. Whatever you have extra, instead of buying something that you won't be using two, three months later, buy something that could add value to you in the upcoming years. And one of those items is Bitcoin. Choose proxies. Choose the actual cryptocurrency. It's up to you. It's not financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy, but whatever you do, invest at least in something because investing now is going to become extremely critical. Many people are going to be left behind because they don't invest. And that difference between those who invest and those who don't is going to get very, very large, very, very quickly. Be aware. So again, finally, congrats to those who patiently waited for four years. This will be the last phase of the four years. For me, it will be my first full, full cycle. I've learned a lot with you guys by myself. I read a lot. There were some really tough periods where you have to just buckle up and let the time go by and accumulate as much as you can. Very boring periods, very scary periods sometimes. But now, it's our time. It's Bitcoin time.